When I began working with Eurythmy for You a year ago and working with the activity-based stress release and the high sensitive program, highly sensitive personality, Eurythmy, I felt kindred interest. I discovered a very worthwhile paradigm where somehow we have an invitation to work as a group with adults, taking oneself in hand, doing Eurythmy exercises and challenging oneself through the overcoming nervousness lecture and, and really taking oneself to task and then meeting together in a community. And in some ways, I felt that this is a very worthwhile paradigm for those experiencing trauma or stress because we breathe between ourselves and the world in a safe place and with the blessing of Eurythmy. I wanted to give us a chance like, like we do in the Waldorf classroom, when we tell a story to a, to a class of children, the first day they listen like we all listened so deeply last week to Dr. Harald Haas. And then the second day, if you use a three-day rhythm, you give the children a chance to tell their own version of the story. And the children listen to each other and they get to know each other's sort of personality or just they enjoy that social space that's created. And by the third day, they distill it down to the essential and you come to an agreed upon, or sometimes you keep it original, version that you put into your book, you bring it into the will. Along that journey, what you find is that the children develop an appreciation for belonging to a community. When we met during the weekly meetings of ABSR, I experienced so much capacity in listening to my friends, who many of which I see here, and thank you for coming and joining this conference. <clears throat> 